everybody. Welcome to Soul to Soul. I am your host, Medium Kelly Kristen. And as always, it's great to be here with you tonight. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope everyone had a really good week. Um, I'm wondering if you had a chance to practice your intuition. That was kind of the homework I gave you for last week. If you didn't, it's okay. You can practice this week. Uh, just really briefly, it was, you know, just filling into how do you feel your intuition? Um, you can practice it by getting in line at the grocery store and making sure you're in the right line or um, when you're driving, you know, should I switch lanes or should I stay in this lane? Anyway, um, go ahead and practice it this week if you didn't have a chance for last week. And I do want to say tonight, happy International Women's Day. Yay, women. Um, I want to pull a card. I have this amazing deck called Roar about uh, trailblazing women. Um, so I want to pull a card super quick. And let's see. Oh, I, this is a beautiful one. Josephine Baker. And in case you aren't familiar with her, um, you know, she was a singer and dancer that dealt with a lot of racism and prejudice. And so she moved to France, which doesn't that sound lovely? But um, what her card stands for is um, she's a symbol for taking action and changing her world and the world around her. Um, it means to not settle for anything right? Um, don't try to fit in. Find your own tribe. And those are the people that are going to help you to change the world. So really beautiful. Um, I love that card. I love that deck. Um, let's see. While we wait for a caller really quick, um, I, okay, um, I just wanted to talk really super quick about how I make a connection when I'm when I'm working. Um, there's a reason that the show is called Soul to Soul, and that is because that's how I connect. So I imagine that bright light within our heart space growing bigger and brighter, um, connecting with the person, the caller, the sitter, um, and then our two souls have a conversation right? So our souls know everything. Um, it's our human brain that gets in the way sometimes. Um, I always say we are soul beings having a human experience, right? So um, I just thought I would mention that that's why my show is called Soul to Soul. Um, it looks like we have a caller, um, Kristen, and I think I, Kentucky, is that where you're from, Kristen? Yes. How are you tonight? I'm, I'm okay. Got a You're lot okay? going on. But... Okay. All right. Um, well, what can I help you with tonight? Uh, I've just had a lot of negative things um, happen in the last couple of weeks, actually the last few years. But um, I was just needing some general guidance and whatever came up for me. <clears throat> okay. Um, you know what, tonight I'm going to actually use my cards. I have this really beautiful um, card deck um, that also goes along with the chakras. So I'm going to pull some cards for you um, so we can kind of figure out what's maybe going on. Is that okay with you? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. And I don't know if you heard me talking right now about making a soul to soul connection. So um, I don't know if you know this about you, but you have a really beautiful energy because I feel like our, our lights are connecting and our souls are having a conversation. So I just wanted to let you know that because you have a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light about you. Thank um, you. <laughs> the first card I chose for you is, is renewal. And, um, this one's about your journey. So <clears throat> sometimes we have beliefs that we grew up with, like limited beliefs maybe that we learned from family or parents. And as we get older, sometimes we kind of shed those beliefs and, and, and uh, come up with our own. So I almost feel like this is a time, this is a time when, um, you really need to trust your intuition 
and go with your gut. So, because I'm wondering if, if you're thinking about what other people would think, you know, what would they think if I did this instead of um, voicing your your concerns or or communicating what you want? I don't know if that would make sense for you, but that's well. Go ahead. Things has been so bad um, the last few years that I've kind of shut off myself completely to the world. Um, I'm just I recently been trying to connect with the universe and um, taking some classes just to try to to do something different to see if, you know what helps. I, I really am kind of lost at the moment. You know what? And that's so funny because I always say uh, people when they ask for a psychic reading, they already know the answer. They're just getting validation from the psychic medium, and that's exactly what I was feeling for you. So let me tell you the next card I have for you is called Perseverance. And I really, really feel like you're the kind of person um, that if you have a challenge, and I know you said you had a couple of challenges the last couple of years, but I feel like you um, are the kind of person that tackles these challenges. Um, I do feel that you've had so many things going on that you might be a little bit worn down from doing all this work. But I would like to encourage yeah. you to keep going because I feel like you're going to be turning the corner. Okay. Um, okay. The next card I have for you is called Enlightenment. And this is about, um, you know, making your own path, breaking free from like what other people think. Um, uh, it almost feels like there's been some kind of, someone like putting you down or making you feel less than i don't know if you would understand that yeah um that's that's what my husband did a few years ago with he's not with me now he's actually in prison and he's very very sick in there um actually we're worried that he will die in there mm -hmm. well yeah i'm sorry to hear that that's that's really really tough i I do, though, feel like, um, you know, just from hearing these words that you may have stepped off this path, but I feel like you're getting ready to move back onto your path, the, the path of enlightenment and, and really believing in yourself and being kind to yourself and, and speaking to yourself with kind words. Right. So I don't know if because okay. I feel like I feel like this was you at one time. I feel like you had a lot of. Um, you know, self-worth and self-esteem. And I feel like it's been worn down, but I feel like uh, yeah. just those, those little, um, that self-talk, you know, I am worth it. I am a beautiful person. I mean, what did I just tell you at the beginning? You have this gorgeous light about you. Um, it's there. I see it. Yeah. Right. Um, the next card I have for you is called growth. And I actually felt this one's kind of related to um, like almost like a spiritual awakening. And then you just said that you started taking classes, right? Or, or you're looking into yeah. how to connect with the universe. And that actually feels really, really good for you. It feels like uh, sometimes we need something very traumatic to kind of catapult us into that place of finding ourself, um, listening to our soul, and repairing mm -hmm. any damage that's been done, you know, b by ourselves or by other people. Would you understand that? Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because I feel like um, I feel like this was meant to be tonight. I feel like. Um, like, I just want to be your biggest cheerleader and let you know that you have all this inside of you, right? Um, it's almost like your soul has forgotten what your soul's purpose is. And I feel like being on this new path of um, exploring the universe, exploring, remembering what a good person you are and what a big heart you have. Now, I would encourage you to set some boundaries because I feel like you're also a giver and I feel like you sometimes give away too much of yourself. Would you understand that? Yes. 
Okay. So start, start giving some of that love to yourself. Start giving some of that, you know, okay. worry to yourself, you know, um, the self-talk, the, um, I am, you know, a beautiful woman with a beautiful, bright light. Um, I have another card for you. It's called balance. And I feel like you're going, that's going to be balancing out for you. Um, again, I just keep seeing, I, I literally see you like going around a corner, like turning a corner. Um, and I feel like this is the right time for you to be exploring this. Um, you're on the right path. Um, because I feel like you, there's so much more for you to experience and to give, uh, to, to not for you to give, but to, um, I don't know, learn about yourself is what I want to say. It's almost like the second part of your life is going to be way better than the first part. And I don't mean that you had a bad part the first time, but it's just going to be that much better. I did. Oh, I hope it's better. Yeah. Do you have any, we just have a few more minutes, but do you have any questions for me about that? Um, I just, um, I, like I said, I feel like that, I feel like I'm meant to do something and um, that something's just like stopping it and, and I'm not, I, like I've run out of resources, physical resources and, and then, you know, just worried about my family life, you know, my husband and just, so basically those two things. Well, again, I feel like you're going, you're turning a corner. I feel like you do know, you do know what to do. You just have to kind of remember. And I know that sounds really vague, but you're on the right path. You're making good decisions. I would encourage you to keep on your journey. And I'm going to be sending you lots of love and lots of prayers. And I thank you so much for calling tonight. And you thank take care. You. Thanks, Kristen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I will see you all next week. Remember your homework, practicing your intuition. 